First tip, it's actually that you can zoom in um, during while you're playing the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the camera, we're going to go to a little video we recorded, and we're going to start playing it. As you can see, it's playing the video, but I can start zooming around in the, in the video, basically. It's a cool little feature that you can start zooming around in videos that you have, and uh, it's a pretty cool feature um, if, you don't, if you didn't know it existed. So yeah, that's the first feature that you can zoom in um, on videos. Alright, now the next tip actually involves the Photos app. Now if we just open up Photos, now let's say you want to select all of these pictures, right? You'd have to use a click select and go one by one by one by one by one. It gets kind of hectic if you have multiple photos around there that you want to get rid of or select them to do something, right? But there's a little neat feature, right? You can just select one and then drag your finger across it, so like that. You can select all of them like that. You can select either you want three of them, you can select the whole thing and be able to delete them or share them to all your friends if it's that easy. You don't have to go one by one anymore. It's a cool little feature that I found out, and it probably makes it much more easy to go through all your photos, especially when your friends take it and use burst mode, and they put like a ton of random pictures on your phone. It definitely helps. Alright, now the next feature is being able to enter low power saving mode. So if you're low on battery and you know you want to make it last a little bit longer, and um, so basically low power saving mode puts your um, iPhone restricted so that it uses a little battery. So basically you can access it by going down to the settings and selecting battery. And then over here there's a little toggle that says low power mode. You can just enable that or disable it however you want to use it for that time being. And while we're on the subject of battery, you can also enable battery percentage. Um, just like that. So if you just take off low power mode, we can enable whether we want to see a battery percentage or whether we don't want to see a battery percentage. But I like to keep mine on. Let's keep low power mode off. And then let's move on to the next tip. Now the next tip is um, in Safari. So let's just open Safari and we have The Verge open right now. So let's just open up a random web page. Now there's an article that I, that I found right here and I want to read it sometime else but not right now. So you can actually save these documents or this web page as a PDF and look at it later. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll up a little bit and we're going to get a little menu down here. We're going to click over here. Now we're going to scroll right over here. Um, actually it's on the top right here. And click save PDF to iBooks. Now this will save the website as a PDF letting you um, be able to open it back up anytime else whether you have internet connection or not. So as you can see we have it in the PDF and you can just scroll through it like it was like a regular book that we had in iBooks. It's a pretty cool neat feature whether you want to save some articles to read for later and without having to use any of your internet. Alright, so the next feature also involves the Photos app. Now, this one, um, you have, there's those moments when your friends take your phones and, or your family member and then you have some pictures on there you don't want them to see because they're kind of embarrassing or for whatever reason you don't want them to see it. So, um, you can actually hide pictures on your iPhone success. So basically, you just open up the picture that you want to hide. For example, let's say I want to hide this picture. Now I'm going to press this little button right here. Now on the bottom, there's going to be a little button, like a rectangle with like a line through it, um, saying hide. So you can actually press this, and it will hide the photo. So anybody that wants to access it, and it's hidden from them, and uh, you're good to go. That's basically it. Really easy tip, and makes everything much more um, easier, especially when your friends um, or family members take your phone. Alright, now the next tip is actually to the left of this home page, so it's in that little search bar. Now what's cool about the search bar is that you can actually like do math calculations and different currency um, conversions inside this little search bar. So let's say I wanted to do 5, let's say 5 times 5. And it shows me over here that 5 times 5 is 25. So pretty quick and easy. You don't have to pull up a calculator app or anything like that. You can even co convert currency. So let's say I wanted to take uh, 25 USDs um, and make it to uh, Euros. And it shows me that 25 US dollars is 22.33 Euros. It's a cool little um, feature over there in the iPhone 6S. It makes um, pretty easy without having to open the calculator app or another app that does currency conversions. Really easy to use. Alright, now that next tip that I have for you guys is a way to beat slow Wi-Fi. Now basically, let's say you have slow Wi-Fi, but you also have data. Now, this feature in iOS um, 9 or in the iPhone 6S will allow you to combine both your Wi-Fi and your data, giving you a much faster speed. Alright, now in order to access this feature, all you have to do is go up to cellular. That's not cellular. Cellular. And then you're going to go down all the way down, and it's going to say Wi-Fi Assist. 
Now you can either toggle this on or toggle this off. But all we'll do is just gonna use both the data on your plan, whatever plan you're using, and the Wi-Fi network that you connect it to in order to boost um, the speeds that you're getting on your iPhone 6s, allowing you to possibly download faster things and um, receive mail even faster. It's a cool little feature they built in and um, comes in handy when you don't have the best of internet. Alright, now the next tip that I have for you guys is that you can actually set a 6 digit passcode in iOS 9 and in iPhone 6s. So no longer is the 4 digit, the 6 digit is much more secure. As you guys can see, I have a 6 digit password already set up, so I can be like 211121. And there we go, it's much more secure, so you can easily set this up by going to settings, and then going to touch ID and passcode. Usually if you already have this set up, it will show you enter your passcode, then you can change your passcode to whatever you want it. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. So as you can see, six digits. Let's verify again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. That's our new passcode. We just go lock this back up, scroll, and now we have an even more secure passcode. One, two, three, four, five, six. So basically eliminating anybody being able to figure out what your passcode combination is. Alright, now the next feature is in the mail app, so we can just go over here and access mail. Now let's say we were creating um, a mail for somebody, let's just say a random person. Alright, whoever that person is. Now let's say we want to send them a photo. So we can just scroll down right here, and then click insert photo. And let's just grab a random photo from the camera roll with this lamp. Alright, good looking picture of a lamp, i say so myself. Alright, now the cool thing about this is that Similar to like the note series, you can like edit photos, well, this one has the same thing, you can mark up photos. So you just long press on it, and then all of a sudden you get an option on the top telling you um, to mark up. So you just press mark up, it takes it over here, and then basically you get a bunch of color options, so you can just start marking up the whole thing. Like that. Uh, let's see what I'm going to write. Uh, hi. Yeah. So, that's pretty cool. You can mark up photos, edit them, do whatever you want with them pretty useful, and I think this only works for the mail app, um, as for now. I tried doing an SMS, but it wouldn't work. So as for now, it's only for the mail app, so that's another cool feature you guys can use um, when sending emails to people. Alright, now lastly is in the settings app, you can actually search through settings. So settings is pretty difficult to navigate through. There's so many things in here that you kind of really don't know where to go. Let's say I wanted to raise my volume, raise something. Um, access Twitter um, no, um, settings and basically everything like that. It gets kind of hectic where everything is. The cool thing about it now is in the iPhone 6s and iOS 9, you can actually search through settings. So let's say I wanted to change my fingerprint or passcode. I can just type in passcode. And there you go. Password. Uh, let's see. Let's keep going. Yeah, there you go. Change passcode. And that's that easy. You can just change your passcode. That's the wrong one. And yeah, it lets you easily navigate throughout the settings app, making this, all of this, look much more easy to navigate through. Let's say I want to do brightness as well. So let's go over here and type in brightness. Uh, there we go. Brightness. We're going to adjust brightness now. Alright guys, so that wraps up all the tips I have so far of the uh, iPhone 6s and iOS 9. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found any of these tips helpful, make sure to comment down below which one you found was the most helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys go down below and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. And uh, without further ado, um, see you guys in the next one. Peace.